Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at the new Dixie Light. Introduced in August 2017. Okay, now Dixie Light is nothing new. They've been making it since, since around 1975. You know when Miller Light hit the market, that revolutionized the beer industry, so all the other brewers scrambled to come out with a light beer real fast. Dixie is one of the early ones. Um, somebody told me the other day, I never heard of Dixie Light. I said, now this is somebody that knew about Dixie beer his whole life. He's like 40-something years old. I said, they've been making it for over 40 years. They've been making it. I didn't, I didn't say it was popular. <laughs> I used to have a beautiful Dixie glass, and it got cracked. So I'm using a Schmidt glass. Another one of those legendary regional beers, you know. Clear, straw, bubbly, and not a small amount of roiling sediment throughout, white sediment throughout. Um, kind of a thin white head. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> growing up, let's say 40 years ago, 1977, um, hmm. it smells, okay, It smells kind of like a, <laughs> a city brewing product. Um, Minhas was doing the contract brewing for Dixie from 2006 to 2017, around July 2017. You know, and they used to say on the bottles, Joseph Huber Brewing, but it was Minhas of, of Monroe, Wisconsin. Tom Benson, the owner of the New Orleans Saints and the uh, New Orleans Pelicans uh, Pro franchises, um, he bought Dixie in the last month and they moved the contract brewing to uh, Memphis, the old Schlitz Brewery, but it's actually a, one of the three city brewing facilities, La Crosse, Memphis, and Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Um, he, he says he's gonna open a brewery in Louisiana, a, a new Dixie brewery. Well, we'll see about that. The original one was destroyed by Katrina, the events surrounding Katrina, Hurricane Katrina in 2005. And I went to that brewery a month before the hurricane and they were showing me around and I was watching them do a little bit of brewing. And uh, I drank some of the Dixie beer out of the tap, draft, fresh. Oh, so so delightful. So much better than bottled or canned. Not to say that I didn't like the bottled or canned, I did, but it was incomparable to the uh, draft. Um, but this one does smell like a city brewing beer. Like say, um, I'm trying to think of one like a beer 30 light. <sighs> that type of thing, so. Da, 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 da. Now you might be saying, but how? How does it smell like that? It's almost like the situation where if you haven't been there, you can't describe it. You have to, it's a, sort of like an experiential thing, experiential thing, if you don't smell it or taste it on your own, it's almost impossible to relay that to you. Not to say that I would want you to experience it. Grainy, papery, 3.9% alcohol, yeah, you can see that. It is a, not, no longer a twist cap. Um, oh, 3.8%, excuse me. 91.3, that's interesting. 91.3 calories. Uh, you say, oh, that's a different bottle. It's not really that different of a bottle because um, here's an old one I have from years ago. Dixie Light. But this is back when Dixie Light was an amber beer. New Orleans. Uh, no. You see, when it first hit the market, it was, you know, Dixie Light beer, okay? Certified premium, which is a meaningless statement. Right there on US Highway 90, Dixie Brewery. Dixie Light is a complete beer. 
It is pale in appearance, yes. Light in body, yes. Smooth to the taste. Not exactly. It tastes longer to brew. Okay, it is made with the choicest natural ingredients. Oh yeah. 100% pure, well yeah, it's all pure ingredients, and certified premium, which like I said, is like, um, it's like saying this is a craft beer. That's legally a meaningless term. So try to go to court over craft beer, you're gonna lose. Here's another can, Dixie Light, Light, Light Beer. Dixie Light, Light, Light Beer. We think you'll find its refreshing taste special. Um, I wouldn't call it particularly refreshing, and I wouldn't call it special. I would call it papery. Choices malts, sure, grains and hops, yeah, uh, blah, 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 blah. now here's when they started to, this is 1982, I know this is a 1982 can, I should have kept the beer in there, I should have tried it after 30 years of aging, notice it says Dixie Amber Light, they, they reformulated it in the early 80s to make it a, make it an amber light, sort of like an Amstel light type thing. 98 calories, okay. And it was a lot better. Uh, then they decided to revamp it as Dixie Jazz. Oh, let me show the Dixie Jazz. <laughs> that's not dust. That's like corruption with inside the bottle. It didn't. It's like grain corruption. Dixie Jazz Amber Light Beer, 92 calories. See it fluctuated over the years. Then uh, up until July 2017, you had Dixie Jazz Amber Light Beer. Four, okay, I'm glad I found this. 4.13% alcohol, so it was a higher ABV. Brewed by Joseph Huber, Monroe, Wisconsin. Okay, this is during the contract brew days. 92 calories, okay. So, my daughter sent me an email and a photo and said, this is a really good light beer. I said, yeah. It's like a little hidden jewel of, of the light beer world, the Dixie Amber Jazz. Unfortunately, they wanted to bring it back to a, a, an original light beer configuration, and look how pale that is. I wouldn't buy it. It's papery. It's like an almost sickly sweet thing. Um, now you might say, well, you know, there's no video reviews for this and there's no written reviews actually because this is revamped back, they like went back to the future on this to the 70s before, you know, there was rape beer, beer advocates, so forget that. Um, but uh, in my opinion, it's a step back. I don't know what they're thinking with this, why anybody would want to drink this. I mean, I wouldn't drink it. I would drink Bud Light, which is much better, Miller Light, which is much better, Coors Light, which is much better, Milwaukee's Best Light, which is much better, uh, Old Milwaukee Light, which is much better. Um, and I can name a lot of other light beers um, that are much better. This is um, this is not good. This is not even average. This is one of your notorious city brewing concoctions. This is uh, a D. I'll drink it. It's drinkable. It's not good. Um, you can go to Trader Joe's and probably find this or one of their light beers. They're branded light beers. They're you know, private label light beers. And uh, 
you can have an equally unpleasant experience with those. It's very thin in the body. It's papery, like I say, sickly sweet, like a little sour note. It's a sloppy finish. It's not crisp. It's like, yeah. Um, Ninety-one point three. Yeah, calories. Um, compared to the old Dixie Jazz Amber Light, this is a joke, a catastrophic, ugh, a catastrophic failure. Um, I would recommend that you not try it, but if you're like me, you're not going to be able to resist because even when it's a bottle of sadness. You know, if you're like me, it's even more of a temptation. Like you say, oh, that's really bad. I gotta have it. So, ah, uh, oh. Well, let's just hope that the new Dixie, which I don't think it's a, oh yeah, they said they changed it. Changed it, oh uh, yeah, yeah. And the new uh, <laughs> Black and Voodoo, and maybe they're gonna bring back Crimson Voodoo. I don't know, this is not a good start. Well, anyway. Honestly, I had some bad feelings about it. As soon as I saw Memphis, I said, uh-oh. Whoo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> um, what does the coach say when your team is like three wins and ten losses? It is what it is. And then, of course, he gets terminated the next week. Gets his payout. And hit the road, Jack. Thanks. Oh, my goodness. Yikes.